Some people want to travel to the Bahamas to relax under the sun and enjoy a nice drink in peace, but others prefer to enjoy their holidays in places with tourist attractions to take pictures. However, if you visit these places at a bad time, then your money might end up being wasted. So, to prevent you from making a mistake that'll ruin your experience, we'll be recommending the best times to visit your favorite countries. First up, the United States. While people that live in the United States might not think so much about its beauty, those that live live outside include visiting the US on their bucket lists. While it doesn't have a history as rich as France or Germany, it is a great choice if you intend to party and loosen up. Several mountain sceneries and forest reserves are on the top of the list for tourists. Also, because the country is filled with people from different parts of the world, you can enjoy food from different countries and cultures. The cities buzz with energy from live bands of different origins. The bars and on the street, you can find entertaining street performances. However, all these experiences could be impossible if you visit at a bad time. The best time to travel to the US is either during spring, late March to late May, or autumn, late September to late October. It's the best time because it's the shoulder season before and after summer. These months have milder temperatures, as well as fewer visitors to the most popular destinations. Next, we have Ireland. I can say for a fact that not many people think of Ireland when considering a holiday location. The thoughts of Paris and the Maldives have made us blind to the beauties of the world, and one such beauty is Ireland. The country is blessed with massive waterfalls and unbelievable natural beauty. Black sand beaches are definitely one of a kind. However, your experience here will be largely affected by the weather conditions. While winter ruins holidays in most countries, in Ireland, it's different. During the winter months, you can spot the elusive northern lights over frozen waterfalls and icy landscapes. I promise you that pictures do not do any favor to the mind-blowing view. If you decide to visit Ireland during the summers, you can enjoy breathtaking hikes among the lush scenery. And when you're done, the hot springs will wash away all your stress. So in this list, I think Ireland is one of the few countries that you can enjoy at any time. However, just to be safe, you should visit Ireland between March and May and September to November when there aren't many people like in the summer or as cold as it is in winter. Now on to France. France is one of the most visited holiday locations locations in the world. Its rich history satiates anyone that has a passion for old things. The mind-blowing infrastructures are more than enough to provide you with a one-of-a-kind experience. Visitors have the opportunity to visit exciting places like the snowy French Alps, the lavender-covered hills of Provence, the glamorous Riviera. However, these are only but a few reasons why people choose to visit France. The galleries, art galleries to be specific, are filled with paintings from art geniuses like Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, many other prolific artists. I don't know about you, but to me, this is what makes a trip to France worthwhile. However, some people prefer to spend their time in the great shopping malls of Paris, but who am I to judge? So, when is the best time to visit? France is in spring, April to May, summer, June to August, or autumn, September to October. The spring season is pleasant across the country, with fewer crowds and nice temperatures ranging from 13 to 20 C. Up next, Indonesia. Not to be rude or anything, but there's nothing really special about the country except for Indonesia's most popular vacation spot, Bali. Sometimes we visit different countries just so we can relax, go to parties, and have fun. The older generation just want to take pictures of famous paintings and historical structures, and it's quite okay. However, for a real holiday treat, you get to enjoy the rich culture of the tribes in Bali. It has several cultural landmarks and traditions that make a visit here worthwhile, but most people visit because of the the amazing beaches. Although Bali is the major place people visit, Indonesia is filled with beautiful forests and islands. The vacation here is relatively cheap. The green terraced rice fields and dense rainforests are also fun to explore. So when is the best time to visit this beautiful country? According to popular opinion, the best time to visit is between April and October. At this time, the weather is perfect for beach relaxation and snorkeling. Now for the Maldives. For a long time, Dubai was the number one choice for vacation vacation destinations. The Maldives, on the other hand, has quickly established a reputation as a magnificent tropical vacation destination. The islands are a great place to unwind and enjoy some delicious food and a variety of leisure activities. Apart from the resorts, which are occasionally fully booked, the Maldives has many quiet beaches where you can spend your vacation. The beautiful scenery and attractions make it an ideal location for a honeymoon. One of the island's unique features is that it's extremely child-friendly. It offers 
special assistance to families with children. One of the reasons why the Maldives doesn't lack visitors is the thatched roof over water bungalows from which you can see the seabed and explore another world of coral reefs and sea life. It doesn't look like much, but it's a very nice experience. So if you're planning on visiting this country, when is the best time to do so? For you to enjoy your stay in the Maldives, it has to be sunny. That is only possible between November and April. At this time of year, you can expect dry, sunny days and plenty of blue skies. Next is South Africa. South Africa is an excellent place to start if you want to get a flavor of Africa throughout your vacation. Aside from the striking scenery and award-winning wineries, this tourist destination is known for being incredibly affordable. Yes, it's most likely the only spot where a vacation won't break the bank. The environment is ideal for cultivating grapes that produce some of the world's best and cheapest wines. Even if you don't care for wine, a visit to the lush grape vineyards will be a memorable experience. A magnificent flat-topped mountain serves as a backdrop for a calm trek in Cape Town. You may reach the summit via cable car and enjoy views of the capital. The beaches in the country are perfect for surfing and their amazing sunset will complete the experience. The large variety of tourist attractions means there's something for every type of traveler. The hot climate is particularly enjoyable to individuals from colder climates. So when is the best time to enjoy the full Southern African experience? Best time to visit South Africa is from May to September. Depending on where you choose to visit, winter months bring superb conditions for viewing big game. While the rainy season ruins holidays just like winter, it is different for South Africa. November to February, the rainy season, is the best time to travel for birding. Now on to Italy. A trip to Italy is a dream for many travelers. While most of us have only got to see its beauty from the internet and movies, it is believed that once you visit for the first time, you'll be so enchanted by the country's natural beauty. The rich culture coupled with the exotic Italian cuisines will make you keep coming back for more. Just like France, Italy has a rich culture and the views are believed to make you want to pause time so that you can stay there longer. From the Tuscan hills lined with vineyards to the soaring peaks of the Dolomites, your only problem might be how you can visit all these places in a single trip. However, it would be so unfortunate if, on your first visit to the promised land of travelers, poor weather ruins the experience. So, to prevent that, we have done our research and figured out the best time to visit Italy. According to popular belief, best time to visit is during spring, March to May, and autumn, September to November. During these periods, the temperatures are comfortable and there are fewer crowds. Finally, we have Nepal, home of eight of the world's ten tallest mountains, including the famous Mount Everest. The country does not feature any other tourist attractions that average people enjoy. I don't know whether to call it a holiday location since it involves climbing lots of mountains, but many adventurous travelers like to come here. The Himalayas is a major attraction for people who want to test their climbing skills and endurance. However, it's not just for climbers, as many individuals visit so they can admire these impressive mountains from a distance. There's also some wildlife, like rhinos, tigers, and more that you can visit. So when is the best time to visit? The best time to visit is between October and December. The view of the mountain is spectacular, the sky is clear. The weather remains dry until about April, with temperatures varying between regions. So plan your visit wisely. Well guys, we've come to the end of this video. If you have any questions, leave your thoughts in the comments section below.